Well, it's been a dry start to our weekend. Also been very warm out there, and that's despite the fact that the clouds have moved in. Now, we have been dry so far, but there is still going to be the chance for us to see a few showers and perhaps even a thunderstorm as we head on into the evening hours. Right now, you can see on our Monarch Place Sky Cam, fair amount of clouds out there, but temperatures still made it into the mid and even some upper 80s out there this afternoon. Right now, we're at 83 here in Springfield, Hartford down to 75. New Haven 80, Providence 70, where they have had some showers and thunderstorms move through. But so far for us here in Western Mass, it has been dry. You also notice our dew points. They're hovering mainly in the 50s. 54 the dew point in Pittsfield, 56 here in Springfield. So some drier air here in parts of Western Mass. But you look to our south, Hartford has a dew point of 68, New Haven 66, Providence also has a dew point of 66. That's where the greater instability is, and that's why we've seen those showers and thunderstorms develop to our south so far. However, it still can't be ruled out that we deal with a shower or thunderstorm as we move through the evening hours. If we do see any showers or thunderstorms, they come to an end after midnight, and we do get sunshine in here for Father's Day, but it is going to be another warm day with temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 80s. The tropical feel back early next week, and then we're going to have to watch for some downpours and maybe some thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday as we deal with the combination of a cold front and some of the moisture from what is now Tropical Dep Depression Claudette. I'll show you that in just a moment. But for Father's Day, it is going to be a beauty. Lots of sunshine. It's going to be warm, though. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 80s, 90, perhaps not out of the question, in a couple of locations. And then we looks like lower 90s coming our way for Monday, hot and humid. But as we move to the evening, the overnight, and into Tuesday, that's when we could deal with some showers and thunderstorms around here. As far as dew points, tomorrow will be in the 50s, so may feel just a touch muggy. And then the dew points go up for Monday. Monday and Tuesday. Drier air coming in here, though, starting on Wednesday. So satellite and radar, we have the clouds. And now starting to see a couple of showers begin to pop up. They are relatively light, but we look on off to our southwest, and we're seeing some additional showers and storms getting down towards New York City and coming into parts of southwestern Connecticut near Bridgeport. This is Claudette. We see that counterclockwise spin, but it has been downgraded as of the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center that came out at 5 p.m. Winds now down to 35 miles per hour. Movement is to the northeast at 16 miles per hour. Forecast to continue on that northeasterly track, continue to weaken until it gets back out into the Atlantic. And then the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center does have it re-strengthening back into a tropical storm. And you notice it does pass to the southeast of southern New England as we head Monday night and into Tuesday. So while we may not see any direct impacts from this system. What I think we will see is this start to tap into some of the moisture with a cold front off to the west, and that's what's going to bring the showers and thunderstorms in here later Monday and into Tuesday. For this evening, future cast really not picking up on anything, but that shower thunderstorm cannot be ruled out. Tomorrow we're looking just fine. Lots of sunshine, very warm day though with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. It's as we get on in to Monday. We start out dry, but then there comes the cold front. There's Claudette. I think we start to see some of that moisture get tapped into and we'll watch for a line of showers and thunderstorms that could be coming in here as we head late Monday afternoon and into Monday evening. Of course, timing still needs to be worked out. We'll be watching it through tonight and through the day tomorrow, but it could be a rather damp start to the work week before we dry things out starting on Wednesday. Let's check your forecast, everyone. Have a great evening. Matt, back over to you.